What's up, Aircoat Army? It's your friend Pete. Back again, working on the A for chassis today. If you're new to the channel, you like the content, consider subscribing. If not, click the like button if you like it. Today, we're going to do something a little different. We're working on shortening the shift linkage. Yeah, shift linkage. So, let me show you around what we're doing. We have shortened this chassis 14 inches and we moved the shifter back nine inches. So you would think that that's 23 inches. That's math. Um, but I don't like shortening uh, the shift linkage until you have the transmission installed. And the reason is because we, you, we're putting on this uh, truss bar, they actually have a little bracket that goes in between the horn here and the mount. And if you don't space the tranny back, your engine case will hit this. So we have a couple spacers inside there, allowing us, to, which allows the transmission to sit back further, which means that if we had just built it just on the, the distance that we cut the chassis, then we'd probably be an eighth of an inch short or or some configuration of millimeters or, 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 or eighths of an inch. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the ship linkage in the, uh, the tunnel. We're actually going to hook it up to the uh, hockey stick here with the grub's uh, little square drive grub screw. And then with that in place, We'll now have a center line of where we need the shift linkage here. So that will give us exact amount that we need to trim. Then we'll trim it. We'll weld to tack it in, put it back in, see if we are good to go. Pull it back out, weld it again. You ready for this? Let's do it, people! All right, so here we have a little tiny grub in the hockey stick set up it's at the neutral gate uh, everything is kind of hooked up here centered where we need to now we can make a mark on there which is exactly center and we can uh, shorten it whatever we have to make sure that that cup is sitting right here in the center let's do it all marked center of the hole now we'll take it out well, we're all math majors, so here is our shift linkage, here is our mark. Everybody stop what they're doing right now, type in the comment section, how short do you think this uh, tube has got to be? Remember how much we shortened the chassis by, how much we moved the shifter back. Quick math. You ready? You done? Let's check it out. We're looking at twenty one and three quarters of an inch. We need to shorten this bad boy. Let's do it. All right, we're gonna try this again. So we're gonna try and cut like half this weld to see if we can't get the sleeve that's going inside here a little bit. So we can fish it out that way we can have more rigid joint rather than a butt weld here. And we did a little measurement here. Looking at three quarters of an inch centered for that cup. So now obviously this would be for for flush so we went back three quarters of an inch but if there's an inset here then we're gonna find out how much of that tube goes in before we decide to cut here that might sound confusing confusing but we don't want to cut yet i'm going to cut this off i'm going to find out how much that comes in and then joey's going to make some noise everybody wave to joey Hi, Joey. So 
so we got this cut off and you can see there's uh, two pieces there so. about six millimeters to bottom out so we're gonna once we do our measurement here we're going to subtract six millimeters so I just put this uh, wedge in here and it's a little sharp and now I'm just trying the tube out and you get to see it live so that's what it looks like inside there Now, once we cut it, we can fit it in there and then we can weld all around the edge and it'll be nice. So it's got a little square drive socket. So, I, I'm doing this because I want to show you that it's, the hockey stick is locked in place. And you can see that shift linkage uh, cup is, is not in the right location, but we slipped it on the tube under this. So now we can just grab this and twist it and we can look at our gate left or right. See, it's a little too deep over here. So we'll turn it this way, so it's right to the edge there, right to the edge there. So that is ideal for your gate, so you don't have to start trimming on this. Get it right where it needs to be. And it's in the center of the hole. So now we'll make a mark on, uh, you know, on the side here, and then we can weld it up, and uh, that part will be done. Let's go. So I tacked it in place, and I put it back in there to double check and make sure that I uh, marked it correctly, and we're good to go. So now uh, I'll get to welding, and uh, we'll show you what we uh, how that turned out, and uh, then we'll get this painted up, and. Uh, installed. See you soon. So, coupler is in, rub screw is in, gate's working, all the way there, all the way there, center of the hole. So we accomplished what we need to accomplish. I'm not going to tie wire this yet. Um, we have to run a push and pull uh, fuel line through here. I might need the space, so I'm gonna just leave it there. Um, I can put the shifter on. I don't know if you see the shifter yet. Vintage speed, black adjustable uh, shifter with a lockout. Put that on here in a sec. And it's got the new 911 bushing on it. So we'll get that handled. We'll finish up this video with this on the car. And uh, we'll go on to the next one. They're here! No, not really, but they're here for pre-order. Work shirts. Check up there. Let's get back to the film. Hey guys, the 2021 promotion is still going on. You can win one of these Ultimate Beams 
by subscribing, commenting below on any air-cooled video you see. That's easy, that's all you gotta do. Enter today, subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one.